Lord Hood Boys Gold Mine campaign. This is a Halo 3 mod that had some really wacky screenshots. I'm not quite sure what it does, but we're going to play The Covenant because The Covenant is always the best mission to demo a Halo mod. The logo is good. The Lord Hood Boy experience. It has a very good logo. So some effort was put into this. Take regular breaks to go outside and touch grass. Uh, no thanks. I'd rather play Halo 3. Thank you very much. Devin Dad, thank you for subscribing. Subscribing? Imagine paying for another no stream night. Couldn't have been me. Yep, I'm streaming. And there is, oh, there was a guy. I think we just saw why it's called Lord Hood Boy. I believe that's a giant golden lord. <laughs> yep, it's a giant golden lord hood. On top of the pelican. All right, that's good. Get him, Lord Hood. Give him your bad face graphics. There's an Xbox Warthog. That's good. Good branding. Phil would love that one. I think Chief has Lord Hood's hat on. Does that mean Lord Hood is Master Chief? In the lore of this mod, did Lord Hood don the Mjolnir armor and go into combat himself? Let's go. What is this? Okay, I have a battle rifle. What is this? It says Spartan Laser. Hang on. We gotta see what the heck that thing is. Borderlands nuke him? Yeah, really. Alright, what do you do? Oh, look, it's Lord Hood. There's Lord Hood. Okay, it is just a Spartan Laser. It just looks weird. Oh my god, what? <laughs> what is that? What is going on? Okay, we got a loot crate. Or not. I, there was a Lord Hood. I think the Lord Hood died. There was a Lord Hood wandering around. Not sure what he did. What is this? Gold Flame SMG? Sure. Flamethrower is famously the best weapon in Halo. How far does this go? Oh, that's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. Okay, rethink our strategy. Let's try to keep keep our distance and use a splazer on the turret like you're supposed to do. Just because it's a wacky mod doesn't mean you're supposed to forget your Halo 3 skills. One down. There's Lord Hood again. I don't know what these hats are doing. They blew up last time, so they scare me. Are they pelicans? Are the pelicans hat? No, something just fell out of it. What fell out of it? It dropped a turret. Oh, that's an equipment. What button is equipment? There's the equipment. So is it just a warthog turret on the ground now? Is it just a warthog turret I can use whenever I want? Yeah, okay. It's already spun up. Wow, they warmed it up for me. Is Halo 3 one that has warming up turrets? What is that? That's an evil ghost? <laughs> Beware of evil ghosts. Oh, Lord Hood. There's Lord Hood. Is he hostile? He's all, he has a flaming pyramid that's shooting fire grenades. This isn't Bluey the game, no, it's a little bit different. And he shrank down to a minuscule size and disappeared. 117 is engraved on the ground. Alright. The anti-air wraith is a gamer wraith. That's interesting. What is going on? Why is there an evil specter? Why does the evil specter keep getting summoned? I don't like the sound of that bomb. We're not even off the first beach yet, and already things are a little bit unhinged. I right, get out of here, brute. We gotta move on. What's this do? What did I throw? Was that a bomb? There's a guilty spark. Gold monitor? Oh god, what does gold monitor shoot? Is it gonna be a gun? Is that a Wraith shot he's shooting? You can't see what he's shooting at because he's too large. Still need this turret to die. Are you dead yet? Okay, he's dead. Uh, whatever this gun is, it's not that strong. It might just be a normal plasma rifle round, honestly. 
Doesn't seem to be doing huge damage, although I am probably missing most of the shots. Looks like the plaza turret. Yeah, it might be a plaza turret. Why did that fly in the air? That's a floating bubble shield. I have a red box in my inventory. Let's use the red box. Looks like it deployed a uh, grav mine. Okay. Is grav mine even the word? Grav launcher, trip mine, flower gun. Okay, this looks pretty good. It shoots, <laughs> it just shoots flowers. In the literal sense, die. Are they needler rounds? Because they're sticking into the guy. He's getting stuck in. Those guys blew the heck up. Are they dead, though? What is that? It's just a grunt flying in the sky. RIP grunt. I guess it's a Needler because he's not dying, or maybe he just doesn't take damage because it's flowers and not a real weapon. I think I'll keep the battle rifle with me because it's nice to know what at least one of your guns does. Oh, that's a fuel rod shot. Taste the power of... The UXR rocket launcher. Is it just a normal rocket launcher? But it looks cooler. Eh. I think I missed. This was like a banished weapon. This has Halo Infinite vibes. Kill that guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that an orbital strike cannon? I'm getting physics. I'm getting Nvidia physics. Where do you geode? Halo Infinite if it was good. Yeah, really. There's the ghost again. Die, ghost. Oh, no. Not me, not me, not me, not me. Don't kill me. Fall damage, please. Ow. Swap for toolbox. Sure. What do you got for me, toolbox? Flamethrower again? Yeah, no thanks. I think sucks. Did you give me a car? I want to drive the Xbox mobile. What? <laughs> Is he playing Xbox? He's playing Xbox of his own car driving. Is that Mountain Dew and Doritos in the cup holder? Yeah, it is. All oh, right. This is great. This is extremely disorienting. So he's playing a game of himself. Also, it looks like the positioning is wrong because I'm in the ocean here. Maybe the ocean doesn't render in whatever cameras he's using. Yeah. The water doesn't render in whatever camera that is. So the positioning is right. It's just... Oh, God. You're watching Second to Person Gaming. I don't know. Not a lot of color depth on my monitor here. Somebody turned the contrast way too high. If only the original Xbox controller was just nimble. If only it had gyro controls for driving. You could kill someone with that controller. It would probably take one hit to the head to kill someone with the original Xbox Duke controller. These new controllers probably break in half. It probably takes at least five hits to kill somebody with an Xbox One controller. I miss the good old days. What is that? Are you the flued? Are you bad? I'm assuming that's evil, but I'm not gonna touch it. That's, something is floating. What? Oh, the ghost is a ghost. Oh, that's good. That's adorable. I love that. It's not a ghost when I'm inside of it, though, unfortunately. Yeah, those weird sea anemones are spawning a orb. I don't know what those orbs are doing.
Another giant hat. The giant hat is something. Maybe the giant hat is just a zero grab trap. Oh, we gotta move, Xbox. Look out, Xbox. I think Xbox got hit. Xbox is taking big damage. And also, I'm playing a Halo mod. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, guys. The year of Xbox is right around the corner. Any day now. Any one of these decades, the year of Xbox is right around the corner. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. That encounter always gets me. I always die to that one. You know what? Give me one of these Xamor spheres. Maybe this is good. Maybe these things are helpful. At lift? Yeah, they're helpful. Nice. Yeah, it was a grav lift. I'm just flying into the sky. What else we got? What's the orange one do? What do you do, orange one? Quad wing ghost? The heck? Did it spawn a drone? All right, get this wraith out of here. Oh, this thing takes a year to reload. But he is the Hammer of Dawn, so. And he didn't kill him in one hit, okay. <laughs> hit Hammer of Dawn the guy, and he still has like 40% health left. This is worse than the time I was JD Phoenix. I'm sure Gears of War will redeem Xbox. This, this ghost has to stop spawning. This guy creeps me out. He's too scary. What fell from the sky? Did a phantom die somehow? Somehow a phantom got left in twain. Not sure what did that. This is a pretty good mod though, it's pretty fun. With Halo modding, making a custom level is really hard. It has been done, there are some good custom levels. Making a custom level is really hard. So mostly what people do is just make really weird crap happen in existing campaign missions. The less possible it is to predict what any given item will do, the better your mod is, in my opinion. What this needs is connect support. There probably is a mod for connect support for Halo. Did any of the Halo, I don't think so. I don't think any Halo had like official connect support. Maybe Halo 4 had like a gimmick mode. That was, that was out of nowhere. What the heck? Come on, brutes. You really chewed through me there. Those are the guys you gotta watch out for. We fully believe Blinks will save our company. My friend who had an Xbox and I didn't got Blinks and they only wanted to play Blinks and it was very annoying for me because they also had Republic Commando and Halo and I was like, hey, we should uh, we should play Republic Commando and Halo. And he's like, no, nah, I always play those. Let's play Blinks the cat. Is Blinks even a cat? What is Blinks? He's an animal, right? He's like an animal guy. Like, are you sure we shouldn't play Republic Commando? That could be a pretty fun game. He's like, I played that one already. We're gonna play Blinks. We're gonna play Thrillville. I played a lot of Thrillville FPS modes. You know, Thrillville FPS modes, they weren't that bad. They were like COD zombies, kinda. Unfortunately, it would seem the skills don't transfer to Halo. for the poppy gun fund, thank you for subscribing, Cass. We discovered, not we discovered, someone else besides me discovered that Poppy Playtime has an official Nerf gun that has on the packaging Poppy holding a gun, and then the actual gun itself is just a normal Nerf gun with Poppy on it. So I'll be buying that, I think it's like $10. So you, you just funded one half of the Poppy Playtime pistol fund. If you think I'm not gonna turn my webcam on for the first time in like five years, and my entire gamer shelf will be only Poppy Playtime merch, then boy, you're gonna be real disappointed. Looks like a nerf knockoff? Yeah, it's an X-Shot. It's a knockoff of nerf. X-Shot is like the fake nerf guns. 
But honestly, there's so many companies making fake Nerf guns these days. It used to be just Buzz B. I remember when Buzz B Toys was the only fake Nerf, and like they had two good guns, and all their other guns sucked. Now there's like 50. Like, favor, subscribe if you had the Buzz B lever action shotgun. Or the double barrel shotgun, both which had the shells that ejected, which made it really annoying to like reload, but it was really cool. It was really fun to shoot one time and then not reload it. Can I have a checkpoint, please, Miranda? I'd prefer to not fight those guys on the outskirts again. All Nerf does is make Nerf guns, yeah. All they do is make Nerf guns these days. They don't make any guns for my Halo campaign mission, apparently. Yeah, I'll use this guy. This guy's pretty good. What do you give me? Golden rocket launcher? Okay, so the normal rocket launcher does exist. Which is good, because this is better than the Hammer of Dawn one. The Hammer of Dawn one's a little bit cumbersome. They don't make swords that can legitimately bruise you anymore. Yeah, really. The, those nerf swords hurt. Whoever made those, they were they hate children, dude. That was like a cool a cruel prank on children. But here's a nerf sword. You can hit each other with it. They won't hurt. Those things sting. Did I kill that turret? It's not firing at me, so I'm assuming the answer is yes. Also, it's floating in the air, so I'm assuming the answer is yes. Try bamboo practice swords. They do hurt. I'm sure they do. You would expect a nerf sword to, like, be soft, though. But they were not. Who else beat their siblings mercilessly with the lightsaber toys? Yeah, dude, the lightsaber toys didn't even try to be soft. The nerf toys had like one centimeter of foam on the outside of like a metal pole to make you think that maybe it was like a nice toy for your kids. But the lightsabers didn't even pretend. They're like, yeah, it's, it's plastic. It's just a hard plastic stick that has the worst speaker ever go. <laughs> It plays three vaguely recognizable lightsaber sounds and like two random laser sounds that aren't even from the movie. Yeah, swords are dangerous. Stick to guns, exactly. Those nerf swords will kill you. Shoot each other instead. I want that brute shot. That's what Chief wants for his birthday. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing with this mod? Sir, I have no idea. Okay, there's a weird glob. Red toolbox. That usually gives a good gun, right? Super shotgun. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> yes. That's beautiful. Eh. Ultimate blast. Is it a forklift on the front? I believe it is. I believe the front is the forklift front. Oh, and it's shooting forklifts. I didn't realize it shot forklifts. I thought it was just shooting a force blast. Well, this is the best gun in Halo now. What is going on? Is my gun on fire? Hey, do you want a battle rifle with no ammo? I wish the Marines would accept guns with no ammo. You think they would give Master Chief whatever he wants? He is the master man. Who wants more forklifts? Forklift justice. The Covenant cannot stand against the power of the human forklift. Humanity's greatest weapon. That's a giant grunt. Look how huge that grunt is. That's like a super grunt. Why is he so big? I had little disc guns. Yeah, they shoot the little foam discs. Those are okay. The foam discs can be very easily bent, though. And the problem with the foam disc gun is, like, you get a foam disc gun... And, like, no other toy gun you ever get in your whole life will have that exact size foam disc. 
So like if one of the discs gets messed up or you lose half of them, you're just screwed. They were plastic discs? Mmm, plastic disc. I didn't have a plastic disc one. I had some foam disc ones. Okay, the forklift shotgun's a little bit cumbersome because it spawns forklifts everywhere, including where you need to go. But that's part of the charm. Bet there's some crazy speedrun techs we can do with this bad boy. Imagine the potential. It's limitless. <laughs> Just got stuck in the wall. Sorry, forklift. I'm trying my best, forklifts. Forklift blast. Forklift blast. And I can't go there. The way forward has been clogged. I don't think the big grunt had that much more health than the regular sized grunt. That's a grenade coming my way. That's a bubble shield coming my way. I have a invis. You got an invis. Hmm. Where am I? Where am I, brute? There we go. That helped to break the stalemate. I'm hearing a lot of charging, exploding sounds. I think it's coming from the forklifts. Please, Goodbye, forklift. Uh, there's only like five shots left in that forklift, but the the part that I need a good weapon for is coming right up, so I might as well bring it with me. Might as well take out the brute sheet and with the forklift. The way Marty O'Donnell intended. I don't know who's like the maker of Halo. Who's who's that guy? Who's that guy that made Halo, then he quit, then they brought it back to fix Infinite? What's that guy's name? Because Marty O'Donnell's a music guy. He didn't make it. He didn't make the game. Bill Gate? No, not Bill Gate. Not Mr. Gates. Gabe Newell? No, not Gabe Newell. Joseph Staten? Yeah, maybe him. Why am I flying around? As I float in the air. That was a brute wearing Hayabusa armor. That's for humans to have, not for brutes to have. What the heck? Hang on. I have a boost jump. I have like a mid-air boost. I can do like an air dash. Didn't even notice that. You hit crouch and you do an air dash. That's extremely useful. Halo 5 dash? Uh, I don't know. Did Halo 5 have that much of a dash? I haven't played Halo 5. Because it ain't on MCC. And my Xbox One has seen better days. Xbox consoles love to barely work. They love to just barely be clinging on to life support. Like, I have an Xbox One and a 360. They still boot up. You can put a disc in them, and they will attempt to play it. But will every time you use them, though, you're gambling that this will be the last time they ever turn on. Because those fans are loud. That's a giant hammer. Holy crap. That could be a problem. Use the power of wherever that is. Was it just... Is it just spawning in barrels? I think it is. Yeah, give him a barrel. Donkey Kong. Is this infinite? I get infinite barrels. I give me his hammer. I want that for sure. That's mine. That's a big old stick. Cortana. Time to speak softly. My PS4 spits out the disc and eats it again every minute or so. My PS4 still works pretty good. What was that? Trophy gun? <laughs> Does it just shoot hymns? It shoots the hat. 
It shoots the hat as a bionicle disc launcher. Nice. This is my new favorite gun. Where's the button? Take me down. Take me down. I'll hit that button first. Who was doing that? Oh, it's the ghost again. This ghost, man. He's unrelenting in his pursuit. Any cutscene changes? That's one. The arbiter should be just about to that's two. It's all up to Johnson's team now. Get back outside, Chief. Wait for transport. Johnson, come in over. And yeah, mostly everything was yellow. What gun is this? The forklift gun? Oh, this is just a straight up forklift pistol. Okay, well that's pretty good. Uh, I want to use the big grav hammer, but it's just a grav hammer, you know. We've all seen that before. But I haven't seen it as a forklift pistol. After the forklift shotgun fell in battle, I was afraid I would never again find a weapon to match his majesty. Who was that guy? Why is there a weird goggles, man? Is that a guy from Halo lore? I'm sure it's a Promethean from Halo lore. Some kind of a Halo lore master knows who that is. Okay, the forklift gun seems extremely strong. I'm not sure how strong the uh, golden figurine statue is. Who wants to get A-posed? That's a guy from Hellboy? Oh, it's from Hellboy. Get it, because Lord Hood and Ron Perlman. It's, uh, it's related, I guess. Come on, let me drive. There's a uh, six degrees of halos, making that reference kind of make sense. Oh man, this driving is weird. Remember that episode of, uh, I forgot what it was called. But Rooster Teeth had a show where they're like, wacky gaming myths? And they were like, can you drive a third person car? And they did that as an episode of their show. What's going on at Rooster Teeth these days? I went on Rooster Teeth's channel and they were like announcing Rooster Teeth Platinum Plus. And it was like 30 people you've never seen before and like a corporate hellhole warehouse with a bunch of podcast sets. And they were like, we're expanding our content like never before. It's like by making a bunch of podcasts about nothing. Yeah. And all the comments like, what is this? <laughs> what is going on? Everybody needs a podcast. Like, fair subscribe for the Oboshu's podcast. Was Ian from Smosh there? No, he wasn't there. He's doing Smosh things. That's what it looked like. The Rooster Teeth new whatever headquarters video. It looked like Smosh, and Smosh does not look good. Who wants to be on my podcast? We'll get sure SM7Bs. And we will get boom arms that are very noisy. And we'll sit there and talk about uh nothing. Nothing substantial. It'll be great. Stormy plays 01. Thank you for the bits. The Poppy Playtime gun will be mine. Is that a Goss? It is. There's Lord Hood. Die, Lord Hood. Can the Marines fly me, or I gotta fly it? I kinda want them to pilot while I use the gun. What if I get... Hmm. Can I get in the seat? Excuse me, Pyramid. Will they man the turret? Man the turret, come on. Get on, Marine. Okay, someone's on it, good. Bum, ba -ba. The Covenant has no chance. We have the best gun in the game now. Ruby can't get to season 10? If you told me Ruby had four seasons, I would not believe you. 
I thought Ruby was like a two season show that was like one and done basically. I did not know Ruby had nine seasons. But again, then again, Red vs. Blue has like 50 seasons, so who knows? Every five seconds, like, hey guys, look, a new Red vs. Blue season. I'm like, oh, great. That's really cool. Yeah, take that, Covenant. Speaking of Covenant, people are very mad when you call the UNSC the Unska, as I learned in my recent Halo video comments. All I'm saying is it saves a lot of time. You guys can you guys can go around saying UNSC all you want. Hey, look, it's the UNSC. Unska is way less syllables. People know what you mean. They might roll their eyes, but the time savings is worth it in my opinion. Oh wait, isn't that a friendly one? Is that one of Arbiter's Phantoms, or is that a bad guy phantom? I can't tell, because everything in this mod is yellow. He's facing towards me, so he's probably a bad guy. It's probably a bad guy. He's being escorted by other Banshee folk. Oh, whoa, 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 friendly, friendly. No! <laughs> Master Chief, get out of my way. Who's flying that pelican? Who do you think you are? It makes sense, you don't say N-A-T-O. Exactly, you don't say N-A-T-O, you say NATO. So for Unska, you say Unska. It's just, it's just a logical thing to do. Makes sense to me. Was that dude riding a seagull? Yeah, probably. I have seen the word seagull on the UI before. What game is this? Resistance 3. Oh yeah, there he is. There's Lord Hood. Lord Hood riding a seagull. And he's an enemy as well? He's hostile? Kill him. I guess kill him? I guess take him down? I don't know. Maybe that phantom was friendly. There's a blue phantom down there. It is definitely not friendly. I know oh, the blue one is friendly. Okay, the blue one is my friend. The yellow ones are the bad guys. I got it all figured out. Lord Hood on a bird seems to be invincible. I gotta go into uh, photo mode? What's it called in this? Theater mode. Get a better look at that guy. Yeah, Warthog AI guy needs to be pretty close to work. He's not really a fan of the old long range tactics. He's more of a short range guy. Oh, that's a friendly Arbiter guy. Sorry, Arbiter guy. What gun was that? The Descent Gun? That one Descent Gun or Statue of Lord Hood? Let's try Descent Gun, because we know what Lord Hood's statue does. It shoots a hat and I'm dead. I'm not sure the C in Unska should get a Ska. So it should just be Unsk. Unsk. That that's less clear though. Oh yeah, my favorite Halo faction is the Unsk. People won't know what that means. People would rightfully comment that they don't like that pronunciation. Whereas with Unska, they're just plain wrong, because Unska is superior clearly. Halo checkpoints at work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no scope that Banshee. Get him out of here. Oh boy. What was that from? Did I leave one of the wraiths alive? Maybe I did. 
It's kind of hard to tell what you're getting killed by in this. It's a bit of a disaster, but not in a bad way, in a fun way. I will write a five-page dissertation about the improper balancing of the Lord Hood's Halo 3 meme mod. I'll be sure to let the mod author know my displeasure. If anything, I'll let the mod author know my immense pleasure because it's a forklift gun. It should be Yunsk. It should be the Yunsk. That's what it should be. Master Chief is the fiercest soldier of the Yunsk. I think every option is worse than Unska. Unts. This should be Unts. 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 Master Chief, what faction do you work for, sir? Unts. 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 Does the checkpoint trigger? What the heck is going on with that? Oh, it's a turret. It's a little turret guy. He's already dug in on Unska. Yeah, I'm dug in on Unska. I'm not changing. I guess Lord Hood is an ally. He's not really doing anything besides existing and being majestic. Will I ever land the plane? All right, let's kill that little crappy turret so it can't be used against me in the future. Oh, I'm damaged. Gotta kill those banshees first. I thought those banshees were friendly because they were gold, but I guess they're not. Oh, Pelican, watch out. We've been over this. Please don't kill Master Man. I hope Master Chief would have a little bit more dignity when falling from a plane. Nah, Master Chief's death animations are goofy. Halo guys always have goofy death animations. Unska, I can fight against. But Odsta? Heresy. I know, Odsta makes sense too. O D S T Odsta. Odsta is also way faster, and everyone knows what you mean. Like, well, Unska, maybe there's a chance somebody might not know what you mean, but Odsta, everyone knows you're saying ODST. Everybody knows you're saying ODST in a stupid way. It's just faster. Think of all the time I save by saying Odsta. Although the, the time savings are probably offset by having to defend the pronunciation of Odsta every time I say it. Halo 3 Odsta is a pretty good game. I like wandering the city of New Mombasa. New Mombasa? Is it safe to land? Are the Arbiter's guys gonna make it safe for me? Sir, which button goes down? Right, where's the uh, disruptor gun or whatever it's called? The descender gun? I probably won't find it. Arbiter's carrying around a bag of Doritos. Can I have the bag of Doritos? Can I have that, Arbiter? Give me your gun. I'll trade you a Lord Hood collectible statue for your bag of Doritos. Come on, Arbiter, just give it to me. I don't think he wants to give it up. Understandable. We've all been there. USA, what happened there? Did fire grenades just spawn on me and kill me? I'm never gonna get past this checkpoint. It's not gonna happen. USA should be called USA. That works. USA, USA. The United States. Need a pack of gushers to make that a fair trade. Uh, I don't know, a collectible figurine for a Dorito bag? It could be worth it. Understood. Depending on what kind of figurine we're collecting. Clear an LZ. Then if it's like an amiibo, out. then yeah. That's worth it. It wouldn't be an amiibo, though. It'd be like a knack-knack. Like, favorite, subscribe if you remember knack-knacks. 
What? Come on. That was from downtown. I flew right into that one. Where's God mode? Where's the God mode command to just get past this doorway? WW2 is Wawa2. Wawa2. WW dose. I think the problem is when I land down there on that platform, there's like 10 million NPCs fighting. And with all the weird weapons this mod has to offer, who knows what'll happen? Who knows what'll happen? Who knows what'll happen with the Battlefront 2 remaster? Will that, not remaster. I guess it is a remaster, it's not a remake, so it is a remaster. The Star Wars Battlefront collection that they're selling for $35, which should be like $10 total. Will that be good or will it have some crap in it? That's the question. Will it just be a straight up like 4K 60 FPS upscale of the old Battlefront games with the DLC included? Or is it gonna have some crap in it? I'm hoping it's good. I probably won't buy it because why does it cost $35 for Battlefront 1 and 2? Those have cost like $1 on sale for like 10 years straight. You can't trust them. You can't trust them. You really can't trust them on that one. I have to be very careful. Maybe if I go down there, a checkpoint will activate. Although I don't think it will. Are you alive still? I think you're alive. Yeah, you're still up. Yeah, talking about Battlefront Classic Collection, whatever that thing is called. It's not EA doing it. No, I think it's Asper is doing the remake. Who's publishing that one? I'm just wondering, will they have DLC clone skins? I really feel like, I really feel like they're gonna have DLC clone skins. It really feels like you're gonna have to pay $3 to be like the Coruscant guards. Right, like that's a no-brainer. If you're a gaming company that has no morals, it's a no-brainer to first of all, charge $35 for the old Battlefronts, which is already too much. And then a couple months after the game came out, you know, after everybody already got it, then you add the skins. Then you add like the Snowtrooper skin. Like you wanna be a red Snowtrooper dude? Wouldn't that be cool? Pray they do not alter it further. Yeah, seriously. Because they're adding hero mode to every map, which is good. They're adding XL mode, which is good. Online multiplayer is going to be back up and populated, which will be good. I already have both games on Steam. Oh, ho, ho. But to the discerning consumer who says, I already own these games, you get a discount. Instead of paying $35 for it, you pay like $29. It's a hot bargain. Who's doing that? Who is shotgunning me? Is it the ghost again? Is the ghost shotgunning me again? Be gone, brutes. This gun seems quite strong. Oh, it's gravitying him towards me. Never mind. That's not what I want. That is not what we want. Because that brute had a shotgun. He could have shotgunned me. Give me an old classic. Where's an old classic? There we go. An old classic gun. I will cloak around the corner. He's got an Unska shotgun. Who gave him the Unska gun? You okay, Arbiter? Want some Doritos? All right, Arbiter. Now, this one's a bit more difficult because the bug guys come down, so watch out for those guys, Arbiter. Just give him a taste of your Doritos. They're like a medieval peasant. If they bite a nacho cheese Dorito, they'll die. Their brain can't take it. Get up, Arbiter, come on. Oh, it's a hunter made of gold. He's golden clad. In amber clad? He's not really amber. Definitely more gold than amber. Who has shotguns? I hate how the bad guys can have Unska shotguns. Why is the hunter a small hunter. Get him out of here. 
He's just a little guy. That's like when Poppy Playtime spawns baby poppies to attack you. Fend him off with your Poppy Playtime gun. That guy's right there. That was terrifying. That was scarier than anything in Poppy Playtime. Oh my god. He was right there, and he was huge. He was taking up the whole screen. The entire screen was his real estate, was his playground. Probably shooting them from the front is not going to do much. That is the rules of the hunter. As specified by Cabela himself. Alright, Arbiter, you distract him. He didn't do it. There's so many of them. Why there's so many of them? Eh. Okay, Incendiary is pretty good. That should do some decent damage, right, Keith David? Alright, small guy down. His skeleton expanded upon death. Ah, missed it. If I keep on hitting them with that, they might die. Battlefront remaster is cross-platform? I don't know. Maybe? It might be, but it might not be. I'm not sure. It would make sense to be cross-platform, but also no cross-play? Oh, come on. Come on. What are you doing, Star War? Thanks for nothing, Kathleen Kennedy. Am I right? Thanks for nothing, Neil Mohan. Dude, Neil Mohan did a video with uh, Ludwig. It was like Ludwig interviews Neil Mohan for an hour. Neil Mohan, I gotta, I gotta give that guy props. You don't know who Neil Mohan is. You took over for Susan. He's in charge of YouTube now. Neil Mohan is like the 100% all-time undisputed master of saying absolutely nothing. Like literally every single question he gets asked, he just he just fires right back with some random corpo speak that means absolutely nothing. He can talk for like five minutes and like sound like he's giving an answer, but he says nothing. He says absolutely nothing. It's pretty impressive. Susan was like okay at that. But dude, Neil Mohan's on another level. Whoever these those media trainers they gotta Google. I gotta hire them. Perfect for a platform like YouTube, yeah. Also one of Neil Mohan's famous tactics, which is a great tactic. He'll, he'll he will when someone asks him a question, like, what do you think that YouTube could be doing better? He'll go, like, Well, what do you think about that? He whenever he runs out of blabber to say. He flips a question. He's like, I would love to know your input on that. Like, Ludwig is like, will YouTube ever have NFTs? Because please don't have NFTs. And he was like, well, at YouTube, we really like to pursue what's good for our creators. So I'm curious to know what's your opinion on NFTs. How do you feel? How do you feel about them? Every single interview I've seen with Neil Mohan, which is two, two total. So not a huge uh, amount. But he always flips it back around. And it's, it's so effective because the person he's interviewing... Because he, he says it in a good way. He says it in, like, a sincere-sounding way. So the people he's interviewing is like, Oh my god, the CEO of YouTube wants my input on a YouTube feature? Oh, well, I have to tell him. And then Neil Milhand just sits there and goes, Ha ha ha, you fool. You've played into my hand. So yeah, shout out to Neil Mohan. I don't know if that guy is, uh... I don't know if YouTube's doing too good, but... The media training on that guy is insane. Absolutely insane media training. Because he's got to get interviewed by YouTubers. He's got to interv get interviewed by people that want to get him. People that get an interview with Neil Mohan, they want to have like a gotcha moment for their clickbait thumbnail. I want to interview Neil Mohan. I want to interview Neil Mohan and ask him the most boring questions possible to see if I can get him to break. Like, I won't ask him anything of substance whatsoever. Like, li it'll literally be nothing. Like, oh, what'd you have, uh, what'd you have for breakfast? Do you have, like, an omelet? Who is this guy? What the? Who are you? Is that Master Chief wearing a t-shirt? You're in the wrong battle, buddy. Give me your gold blaster, though. 
All right, let's go. Let's go get a Master Chief with a T-shirt. Maybe they should YouTube how to be an interviewer. No, they're trying. They're trying. He's just too good. He's just better. He's just better than them. He got no chance. He got no chance stepping into the ring with Neil Mohan. He will mop the floor with you. He'll flip it around again, yeah. Well, what, what did you have for breakfast? I'm very curious. I'm very curious what you had for breakfast, because here at YouTube, we really like to know what all our creators are eating for breakfast. It's really a important goal for us. And really, at the end of the day, it's all about helping our creators promote their creativity and have uh, better and more tastier breakfast in the future. Uh, however, whatever way we can do that, that's the way we want to pursue. Remember when Angry Joe tried to epically pwn a game dev? Remember Angry Joe interviewed Jeff Keighley? I think that happened. Gotta love Jeff. Be gone, brute. We're talking Jeff Keighley, brute. You better get on out of here. This ain't no place for a chieftain. Oh, the ghost is back. That stupid ghost. Is it is it dust and echoes? Is that why he like turns to dust when he dies? Is that the joke? That might be the joke. That might be the joke I just got about an hour into the mod. It's possible. Speaking of Borderlands, dun 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 Today is, uh, what day is it today? Today is Wednesday, I think. Jolt's dude is going to put Gearbox software out of business in a couple days from now. I forgot what day it comes out. Because his, uh, his Borderlands 2 roguelike mod is done. He's going to release his Borderlands 2 roguelike mod this weekend, which RIP Gearbox. Because I'm sure the Jolt's dude created Borderlands 2 roguelike mod is going to be really, 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 really good. And then the Borderlands 4 roguelike mod. Not mod, mode. Borderlands 4's roguelike mode it ships with is gonna suck and be awful. They really gotta hurry up with that Borderlands 4. They got the movie out and everything. They have the ideal marketing window. They haven't even announced it yet. Cease and desist, I bet. That's the thing though, they can't do it to Jolts, dude. They can't cease and desist Jolts, dude, because Jolts, dude, is like one of the only Borderlands guys. Okay, I just got orbital striked. Because Jolt Suit is one of the only Borderlands guys who's not, like, embarrassing to associate with. Like, if you're Gearbox, you look at the, the influencer landscape for Borderlands, and you're like, oh my god. They got this freaking oboe shoes guy. Like, we don't want that guy. That guy is no good. Uh, I guess, I guess Jolt Suit is our best bet to market our game here. He did create a competing product that's way better than ours, but uh, we have no choice. I want a Kate Blanchett Lilith skin. That'd be hilarious. Embarrassing to associate with. Randy Pitchford still works here, doesn't he? Hey, oh. Now he gets a free pass because he owns the company somehow. Okay, whatever that circle is, I'm not gonna not stand in that. The nonsense has mostly quieted down. If they're smart, they'd hire him? No way, man. They're not gonna hire Jolts, dude. You kidding me? That would never happen in a million years. Because you don't want to do that either if you're like a YouTube guy. If you're a YouTube guy and a company's like, hey, you want to be a ex YouTube guy exclusively for our company? Be like, no, what? No thanks. Although they should hire me to write the next Tales in the Borderlands. 
They should hire me for that one. I'll accept their terms of employment. Die, chief, and die. I want to see what the scarab is. Hopefully the scarab is a giant lord hood with four legs. That'd be the ideal outcome, I think. Who's doing that? Who's doing that? Who's doing that? An invisible guy? Yeah, it was an invisible guy. Aren't you clever with your cloak? Okay, scene one. Anu and Octavio die immediately. Scene one, Hyperion hacks the funny robot, and the funny robot kills Fran and Octavio and Anu, and then the funny robot uh, goes beep boop bop, I've been taken over by Handsome Jack AI, and then Handsome Jack is back again, which I know, I know, that's awful, and it sucks and is terrible, but you don't want to know what the other options were. Okay, it's, it's the best we got here at Gearbox Softies these days. What? I wanted my sword. There were still three more invisible guys? Holy crap. That was so many. Okay, we gotta be careful here. The whole gang went cloaked. They're just like full on invisible and they have the Unska shotgun. That is brutal. Usually they have the little, uh, the crappy brute shotgun that sucks. Which nerfs their potential. Bring back Private Jessup. Yeah, he'll come back. The long-awaited return is finally here. What was a terrible amiibo battling of Vault Landers? Getting like Vault Landers? Oh, I can just use this to win. There we go. Die. They're getting like zero gravity, though. They're kind of hard to aim. Eh. Another weird circle thing. I don't like those circles. Those are not good. They discomfort me greatly. Another ghost guy. At least the ghost has the assault rifle usually. At least the ghost doesn't have invis Unska shotgun, which is not fair. Okay, gravity just shifted. Where are you guys hiding? I know you're in this arena somewhere. There's one. He dropped 55 incendiaries when he died. Watch out for that. I don't want to get lit on fire. You know, I would ask Neil Mohan. We're going back to Neil Mohan. We're rewinding. We're rewinding to Neil Mohan so I can plug my uh, YouTube shorts anecdote. I would say Neil Mohan... When I was watching YouTube shorts the other day, I kept getting YouTube shorts from an old lady who was clearly very mentally ill, and there was just nonstop YouTube shorts from her about how Elon Musk was trying to assassinate her, and they all had like one view. I got this YouTube short of an old lady who was saying Elon Musk is trying to assassinate me, and I was like, what? And I went to her channel, and there were hundreds of videos that all had like three views each of just her like every day, she makes a new TikTok about how Elon Musk is trying to assassinate her. So I maybe say, Neil Mohan, why did you, uh, why did why would you show me that video? Why am I seeing this, Neil Mohan? I was I selected as one of the three viewers. What if she's not lying? That'd be insane. That'd be an insane plot twist. What do you do, Crystal? I can't believe I haven't shot the crystal yet. Is it just a healing bubble? It has plus signs, so maybe. Consider me non-plussed. That's a full-on turret. There's still more guys in here, because I can hear them. Don't know where they are, though. I'm afraid to venture forward, because it's killing me. Oh, I see one, I see one. I got a visual. Hit the switch, Chief, and okay, I got them all, good. Thank heavens. Okay, give me some good guns for the flute. The shotgun's good for the flute. What gun is this? The Guilty Spark? Yeah, it's okay. What is this? Do you do anything? 
This is the stick. Alright, I'm using the stick. Those videos are made just for you, yeah. They algorithmically determined that I would like an old lady. Terrified for her life videos. I should start posting videos like that. I should just post daily Elon Musk is trying to kill me videos. It'd be pretty good. So we're watching them? No, we're not watching them. You kidding me? I'm not gonna dox that lady. You can't, you can't, see this, this happens to me all the time. This is a constant moral dilemma I have. Is my YouTube algorithm always gives me videos that have like five views? Which means that my YouTube algorithm gives me constant trash. But some of the trash is amazing. Like, it's so good. I have so many videos in, like, my liked videos playlist that are just incredible videos. Because of, like, how bad they are. And of how weird and niche they are. But, like, I can't, I can't, like, stream them and be like, Hey, guys, let's all laugh at this person's videos. I can't laugh at a clearly mentally ill lady. I can tell, I can tell you about it. I'm gonna show it. Because then people will go to the channel and, like, harass her. And like I get I get like videos from like two year olds that are making their first ever YouTube animations. It's like this is my YouTube animation of Caillou. I have a Caillou fan account that keeps popping up. And like the Caillou fan account is hilarious. The content is awful. But it's it's made by like a small child who's making Caillou fan posts. Like we're not gonna go everyone go boy this kid. Go boy this kid for making Caillou fan animations. They are funny. I can't laugh at her in front of people. Exactly. No, because the thing is, like, if I, like, show it, if I, like, post it, then automatically an audience will go there and, like, mess with her. It's very exploitative. Are you subscribed to the Caillou fandom? I wasn't until YouTube Shorts was like, you want this Caillou fan animation? And I was like, yeah, I do. Yes, please. Who wants to get shoveled? Who wants me to dig up some dirt? This guy's a lot of health. I don't get people who bully children for making stuff they think is cringe. Yeah, it's very lame to bully children. Like the Caillou fan account. Is not good, but also it's just some kid, so it's fine. Be gone, grave mind. Did you quit Twitter? Did I quit Twitter? I have the Obo Shoes Games Twitter account because I have to have that, or else an imposter will take it over. But uh, I haven't used it in years because Twitter slash X is a trash garbage platform that I hate, and I avoid it at all costs. I'm on YouTube. I have the Obo Shoes account on all the social medias, like on all the social medias that matter. I have the Obo Shoes account, but I don't use any of them because they're all awful. Even YouTube is awful. YouTube and Twitch suck, but I use those. I do like those ones, but they are bad. Don't tell Neil Mohan I said that. I'll have a very long-winded response that says nothing substantial. Twitter is dead to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm a hipster with Twitter, though, because Twitter was dead to me long before it became X. Twitter was dead to me the moment it came out. I was like, this sucks. Even when Twitter was, like, popping off. Even in the golden years of Twitter, when it, before it was terrible, I was still like, I don't like this at all. This is no good. Not for boomer reasons, though, because, like, the boomer reason is, like, why would I want somebody to know everything I'm thinking at all times? Like, that's not... They don't. It's you. You po. You had to type in something. Because like the the boomer understanding, pe people I've spoken to that are above the age of like fifty. Their understanding of Twitter is that 
it just tells everybody what you're thinking all the time. I don't want that. It's like, no, people, you have to type in what you're posting. It doesn't automatically, like, read your brain and post it. But also, it's not good. It is a lot of people going, like, this is what I have for lunch today. That's on Instagram, too. On Instagram, people take a picture of their lunch, and they're like, look at my lunch. And then 10 people like your lunch, and they say, wow, that's great lunch. I was on Instagram when the app logo was still the old style camera. When Instagram changed their app logo to rainbow Instagram, that's when I stopped using it. Not because it was a rainbow, but because they changed the timeline to be non-linear? Uh, yeah, non-linear. When they did the first big Instagram timeline update to make it be non-linear, I was like, I'm out. I'm done. Let's all make fun of his Instagram. Uh huh. Oh, you're you're allowed to post your meals on Oboe Shoes Discord. That's fine. You can even post your meal on Instagram. I've posted meals on Instagram. I just don't use Instagram for the last ten years. That beast has a hammer. Thank you, Arbiter. Are you calling me a beast? Because I'm the one holding the hammer. I know he's got a pickaxe. He's got Taraga on with staff. Look out. He's Turaga Anoa. He carries a hammer staff. Oh my god. Gotta follow the weeder. Weeder? Weezer Twitter, though. Gotta follow the Weezer Twitter, though. There you go. Is there a, I'm sure it's a Weezer Twitter. I'm sure it has nothing good on there. My social media of choice is YouTube Shorts. Yeah, unfortunately, I do watch YouTube Shorts. I could try to be cool and deny them, be like, oh, I hate short form. Uh, I hate it. Uh, kids these days and their attention spans. Uh, but I would be lying if I said I haven't watched most of Young Sheldon via YouTube Shorts. So. It's pretty bad as well. You YouTube Shorts, you never feel good about watching YouTube Shorts. There hasn't been a single time that I've watched YouTube shorts and then turned my uh, YouTube app off. I'm like, that was a good use of my time. It's literally always bad. I literally always get a negative feeling from watching them, but I mean, I watch them. I don't post them, but I do watch them. I should post them, honestly. Clip this moment and post it on YouTube shorts. I love on YouTube shorts when you get uh, like a highlight of some random person's Twitch stream. It's just them getting a kill on Call of Duty with no commentary, and it's like, why would you post this? Why did you post yourself getting a kill on Call of Duty with no commentary? This is a Spartan Laser Scorpion, which seems like a worse version of the normal Scorpion. It seems like a version of the normal Scorpion that I would prefer to not use. Your YouTube shorts recommendations are probably pretty strange. Uh, yeah, they are not normal. As I said, Caillou fan account. Lady who thinks Elon Musk is trying to kill her. And not in like a joke or a bit. Like it's actually very sad. There is some, there is some stuff on mine that's weird. I got weird crap on there. And let me, let me pause the game real quick. I'm going to load up my liked videos. I'm not going to show any of them, but I'll just, I'll just describe some liked videos that I have. Because whenever I see a weird thing on YouTube, I like it. That's how I save it. So much for the Halo mod. Hang on, where's my uh, playlist? Like videos. Let's see, what do I got on here? It's weird. I have... Mm, it might. Be, it's going to be easy to find this guy, though. I have a man who does food reviews, and his gimmick is that he wears tinfoil on his face. And that's his whole gimmick, is that he makes he makes the same video that Review Bra makes, but instead of wearing a suit, he wears tinfoil. Not on his head, on his face. I get recommended that guy all the time. He's a classic guy. Uh, here's just a weird person that makes weird animations of MatPat that are drawn in MS Paint. There's a person that makes fake Skyrim voice lines. That one's pretty good. That one's not bad. Hey, there's the Attacking Babies guy video. Nice. Good to see that to my liked videos. Uh, one of those AI generated history channels. Outlaw from Famous Contracting, a famous video. All right, this is terrible. <laughs> Let's play more Halo. YouTuber on phone content? 
this guy is streaming live and he's on his phone with the game pause. He doesn't even have a webcam. I can't even watch his face browse the phone. This is the worst content ever. Hang on, I feel like I didn't uh, justify that though. I feel like I didn't describe any good stuff. All I described was a food review channel. Hang on, I gotta find some good stuff. So you know I'm not lying about having the good stuff. This is important to me. Maintain my credibility. Scott Cawthon rap battle. There we go. There's a... <laughs> there's... Somebody made an ERB parody featuring a very poorly drawn version of the creator of FNAF. That's a good one. Here's somebody who every day they post a new Bible verse in Minecraft. And it's... <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's them wearing a Jesus skin in Minecraft. Standing in front of a cross made of wood planks. And they stand there and crouch punch at the camera while an AI voice reads Bible verses. That's a good channel. A man who has too many, like you can have a collection of whatever you want, but at some point you gotta say there's that's too many. A man who has entirely too many key blades on his wall, giving an opinion about an upcoming film, which I feel like if I say what movie it is, you'll definitely be able to find that video. Uh, Captain Cookies Chocolate Chase, which is an AI generated kids channel, which is terrible. A video, <laughs> here we go, here's a good one. This video has like 11 views. It's a lady who, I think she's trying to make like, her, her gimmick is that she does like puppet shows and she has like a monkey puppet and a dinosaur puppet. And this is like a four minute video of the, the puppets in front of a LED light and they're trying to blow the light out and they go, why doesn't it blow out? I don't understand, why doesn't the light, it's some kind of magic light. And it's that bit for about four minutes, and there's no punchline, really. That's a good one. Another ERB ripoff featuring Willy Wonka. <laughs> the truth. The truth about at this person. I found this is some guy who has drama with some other YouTuber. This is what he tells us about you. You don't even know what I'm scrolling past. There's This is a guy who uses like, he uses like Family Guy fan animation software. And in the Family Guy fan animation community, there is beef apparently, because this this guy who uses Family Guy knockoff software has serious beef with a different guy who also uses Family Guy knockoff software. So that that was good. That was some good drama to follow. So yeah, those are some. Uh, those are the ones I'm willing to share. Those are the ones I'm willing to share with the class. Never ask a man his salary, a woman her age, or an oboe shoes, his YouTube shorts history. Also don't ask for my Nexus Mods history. I've had to dig through the depths of Nexus Mods for a... Not recent, for a project that's been in development hell for a long time. I was, I'm not even looking for the weird stuff. The weird stuff just shows up. When you're on page like 45 out of 47 on Nexus mods, desperately looking for a very specific type of mod. Oh boy. What's your age, salary, and tax file number? I'll reveal that in my first ever YouTube short. You say that like we don't know the thing you're talking about. Well, someone might not know. There might be someone. The worst part is, originally my plan was to, I might still do this, because who, who really cares, honestly? Who really cares? But originally my plan was in the credits of the video, overcharged plasma rifle? Okay. In the credits of the video, Lord Hood, please don't kill me, to put like a paste bin text file link of every mod that I used in the video, but some of those I don't want to link. I don't want to link those. Because some of, some of the mods, I need like one feature from a mod that does other stuff. And some of the mod authors themselves are like, um, I don't know about this guy. I'm not so sure. Did you lose the password of the main channel? I'm logged into the main channel. The, the main channel is what I used to watch my YouTube shorts. I'm logged into my like actual normal Oboe Shoes account. 
That's the channel that gets spammed with Caillou fan animations. Are you gonna hide shift codes in the video? Probably not. Randy wouldn't give me any. The Oboe Shoes, like legit real Oboe Shoes channel account is the account that's ruined. I have burners, I have YouTube burners, but usually I'm too lazy to log into them. As long as it's being used for something, yeah. Not being used for posting videos. We do have some use for it, though. Get him, Phoenix. The Phoenix did nothing. In a political way? No, not, not a political way. The Skyrim mods are not strange in a political way. They're strange in a content of the mod type way. And sometimes you find a useful mod, and you're like, oh, this is a really useful mod. I wonder what other mods this guy has. Okay, hmm. Probably won't be using any of those. LC grenades. The Sentinel Blast. Okay. Sentinel Beam's okay, it's an okay gun. Uses clean faces confirmed. Gotta get the dirt mods. No, I don't like mods that alter like the appearance of stuff. I don't like mods that change the vanilla graphics of Skyrim that much. Like people are like, get a city overhaul. Like, no. It's fine the way it is. Maybe I'll upscale the textures a little bit. Slap an E on B on there. Get a little Rudy ENB, you know, get a little, uh, I can't think of any names of EMBs. Get a little EMB action on there, you know, get some ambient occlusion going. But people were like, oh, look at my NPC replacer. I redid all the characters in Skyrim to look like anime people. Like, I don't want that mod. Yeah, the Scarabs have giant Lord Hood hats, which is pretty much what we expect at this point. Look forward to the CBBE Seagird mod. Yeah, coming soon. I do like mods that change the weapons look not terrible, though. Like, mods that make the scourge, like, skinny. Those are good. Have we gotten to the page where the pregnant Seagird mod is? I have gotten to the pregnancy mod pages. There's not as many pregnancy mods as you would think on Nexus. They're on that other website. That shall not be named, that we all know what it is. I'm gonna die. And then he died. Interesting NPCs is the best Skyrim mod. Interesting NPCs, they gotta they gotta run all their voice actors through an AI voice filter. They gotta use that Adobe podcast enhancement. Because interesting NPCs is very good, but some of those voice actors' microphones, not even the voice acting itself. Just the microphones that some of those people used, oh man. Please don't have peaking audio on your microphone. But yeah, it's a pretty good mod. 3D NPCs, although that one always messes up my saves. And also that one's not on Nexus, so you gotta like go to the website and get it. I hate it when they won't put their mod on Nexus. They're like, you gotta go to my website. I don't agree with Nexus mods as policy. Blah, 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 but it's like, dude, come on. What are we doing here? Are you friendly? No, you're very hostile. What did I expect? Not really sure what we expected. Needle caster, that's new. Is it like the Yogg's cast? Shout out Yogg's cast. Yogg's cast is still going. Somehow after 10 years, Yogg's cast is still posting trouble in Terrace Town. Hilarious moments. Yogg's cast is doing right now what every gaming YouTuber's dream is though. A lot of gaming YouTubers, not that many. But there are a significant amount of gaming YouTubers discovered that they don't really care about video games and that what they really like is tabletop war games. 
So they, they keep posting YouTube content, but also they make a tabletop war games channel and you can tell by watching the videos that's what they really care about and they'd rather do that with their entire life and not play Trouble in Terrorist Town, but they still do. If I had a nickel for every channel I've seen that that has been their arc, I would have 20 cents and Yogg's Cast is one of them. Where they make an Epic Gamer Moments channel and they're like, you know what, I think Warhammer is more fun than playing Call of Duty, but no one's gonna watch my Warhammer, so I guess I'll I guess I'll make Warhammer channel and keep playing Call of Duty. Will that happen to me? Hopefully. I have some Warhammer guys. They're ready to go. They're itching for a battle. What the heck? I'm dead. It baffles me how they charge full price for Skyrim VR. I mean I bought it. Because you look up Skyrim VR and you're like, wow, this looks terrible. Do mods fix this? And you Google Skyrim VR mods and you're like, oh my god. I have to play that. Skyrim VR with mods, like with 200 mods running, it might be the best game ever. I've said this before. Like, it might be the greatest game ever made. Like, Skyrim VR with immersive, like, uh, interact with the environment mods. And, like, you have a fully model first person body and arms mods like Skyrim VR where you can walk behind the counter and turn Bellathor upside down and shake him and his inventory will fall out and you can steal his stuff like is that not the greatest game ever made I feel like it kind of is I'm not really seeing many other options I can contend with that you can physically steal Bellathor's lunch money what more do you need? Skyrim's only good with mods. I agree, but also I played Xbox 360 Skyrim when it came out for like 100 hours, so you know. I did, that was before mods were popping off though. Like before Creation Kit was like released to the public. Also it was on 360, so there was no mods. In 2011 it was fun. In 2024, not so much. You kind of got to mod it. Give it a decent amount of mods. Keep things fresh. I'm never going to beat this mission. I'm too busy yammering on about nonsense. This guy made a video. He says I'm going to showcase a Halo mod. But all I did was talk about YouTube shorts. And die repeatedly on normal mode. I think I get kind of a pass, though, for dying on normal mode to this mod. Because, like, what what is going on? Does that grunt have a DMR? Starfield was super fun in 2011. Yeah, 2011 was when Starfield's best year was. It, it was good back then. Nowadays, not so much. Yeah, Skyrim has soul. Skyrim's got Jeremy soul. Skyrim has a part where it goes It's got that part. If Starfield does have backbone, that's true. There is backbone in that game. Backbone is mentioned. When will you finish your Starfield playthrough? I did. Here's the thing. I finished my, like, single player, like, not streamed Starfield playthrough because I was doing an actual Starfield playthrough where I played it, like, myself. And I was doing the streamed playthrough. And the second that I finished every quest line in, like, my normal personal playthrough, I was like, I don't want to play this game ever again. And even though my streamed playthrough was, like, halfway done, I'm like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to keep going. I don't care. This game sucks. All right, Scarabs, this time you're going down. This time I'll get you, maybe. Shoot down, Scarabs. I can't believe they're in Halo 3. I wish I could get a checkpoint right about now. That'd be swell.
That's a flamethrower eyeball. Sure, Shattered Space DLC will be any day now. It probably will. Hopefully it comes out at the same time as Shadow of the Erdry. So I have two really good contents to look forward to. Did I buy the Starfield DLC or Shadow of the Erdry? I'm not sure. Hmm. Because the Starfield DLC will add like one new faction. Actually, it'll add two new factions who are opposed to each other. And the quest line will suck. Or I could buy Elden Ring 2. Hmm. It's a tough choice. Hey, I got a checkpoint of the Hornets. Nice. So generous. Thank you so much, Halo. Oh, we have a scorpion turret. Uh, get on the scorpion turret. Hey, idiot, get on the turret. Get on the turret. And the turret fell off. It just... Wait, is that a gun? Can I have that? Oh, my God. Let's simplify things. Still has some travel time, though. How much ammo do you have? You're like 20 shots. Shoot him right in the leg. Yeah, right in the leg. He's walking around. I might be able to blast him in the back right here. They can't really hit me from back here, which is good. Maybe I should move in. Because I want to be near them when they go down. They got oddly quiet. They got oddly secunda. Is that one secunda? I don't know. I always forget the names. I forget the specific names of the Skyrim OST songs. Sue me. Can we agree that Sophia, the funny, fully voiced follower, sucks? That mod sucks. Does anybody use that one still? Anybody still running that one in their load order? That was kind of trash. I'm died. I'm not dead. I'm not killed from that, okay. I'm out of ammo though, which is not how you win. In Halo, having bullets is crucial to victory. Maybe that fuel rod can furnish my conquests. This works too. Please lower. What the? Don't you dare. Scarab, lower yourself. Stoop down to my level. Still not very low. Halo, that is. Halo. It's finished. No. We forgot there was a turret. Am I not getting through the... Oh, this is the front. I'm stupid. I didn't even shoot the back. I was shooting the front. This guy even played Halo before? What is Halo? Halo is the guy, right? What? Come on. The first one didn't do damage to me, but the second one had enough splash to kill me? Was it absorbed by the thing? What is the rules of Halo? Oh, he's going to fly me around now. Nice. All right, hold her steady, Marine. Hold her nice and steady. I have a feeling this will not work. I can't aim backwards. I can't aim behind us. It says it's quite inefficient. The core explosion did it? Maybe. Those, that thing does have splash. Okay, maybe try punching it off the top again because riding it around did not work. I think it falling off was a gimmick. I think that wasn't supposed to happen. Count two scarabs. Repeat. 
But what if I, uh, what if I do that to him? What if I orbital strike him? Will that be good? It's not like hitting a leg. It's gotta hit one of the legs in particular. It'd be funny if it sucked the whole thing up. Here's one. Where's the music? Where's the cool song? The cool song stops spawning in. Very sad. Now how will I know if I'm saving humanity or not? This is missing by a huge margin. What the heck? This is drifting left. That's a little more centered. Maybe I was on the hill. Maybe the hill was messing it up somehow. What's even in that building anyway? You know, what's in that building is the flute. Do we even want to fight the flute? The flute's annoying. I hate those guys. There is the prophet in there. He does go, oh, I am the prophet. Oh, they're both going down? Okay, hang on. Drop the turret. Get me in there. Did the Marines do that with their little mongoose? Aw, good job, guys. Did you hurt the Covenant? Well, it's a fuel rodman. That's not good. Please give me this. Thank you. Just gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, crap. You gotta be joking. Please kill it. Please kill it. Kill it. I should have just gotten back on. Is he blowing up? He is sparking. Okay, one down. Checkpoint, please. First scarab's down. All units, concentrate your fire on number two. Can I have a checkpoint, Miranda? Please. Pretty please. I really want one. Halo 3 flute is underwhelming. I mean, they're still annoying. They'll still kill you. And the Halo 3 flute's pretty much the same as the other flutes, right? What's the difference? Flute is pretty much just flute. Halo 3 Covenant is like a lame Covenant because there's no elites in the Covenant. No guns. Do they have guns? They might? I don't remember. Maybe they don't. They have those They have those crawly guys that shoot spikes. Maybe those are their range unit instead of a rocket launcher fluid. Come on, brute. It's gonna spawn me all the way by the Falcon. Yep, oh my god. This is a grueling battle. Master Chief may not have the skills to carry the day. Stupid gimmick mod. You think you can vanquish me on normal difficulty? Well, you can. If you're doing a good job, keep it up. All my health is gone already. Who's doing that? That ghost? The invisible ghost. That's who's doing it. If I sit in one place and shoot, 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 those invisible ghosts just shoot me up. I can't see him. And that is my downfall. Maybe I'll stay above. I'll try to stay in the stratosphere. If I keep my altitude high, there we go. And now I'll hit him from the back from a safe distance, a respectable distance. Come on. Am I hitting? I think I'm hitting. There we go. Okay. Concentrate your fire on number two. I kind of wish you would turn the other way, Scarab. 
He is focused on that pelican, though, which is nice. Thank you for your sacrifice, pelican. Thank you for distracting him. You should do ad breaks at the Halo HUD over them. On Twitch? You want ad breaks on Twitch? You want them? Twitch is desperate for people to run more ad breaks. They really, 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 really want you to. They have a calculator. Like, if you go to your streaming dashboard, they'll be like, if you ran ads once every 15 minutes, here's how much money you would make. And for me, it's like 40 bucks a month. And I'm like, eh, no thanks. I don't think I want to inconvenience literal dozens of people for $40. Because ad ads during YouTube is one thing. I hate them. They're terrible. But at least it's YouTube. You know, ads during a live event? Oh, man. You do not want ads during live content. Let's go see what the profit is. Hopefully the profit is Lord Hood as well. That'd be funny. This is a hard-earned cutscene. It was a tough battle to get to this cutscene. Hope you appreciate the struggle I went through. Fighting those scarabs nine times. Don't you dare type skill issue in chat. If you type skill issue in chat, I'll enable ads. Oh. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't type it. I forgot I had the air boost. Then I remembered I had the air boost. And then I died because of the air boost. I should have stopped before the... It's very hard to resist. Don't do it. I'll turn them on. What if I do one of these? What kind of gun we got? Oh, we got cutscene. We got to stop that guy, Arbiter. That guy's the bad guy of Halo. I thought you were the bad guy of Halo, but turns out it's this guy. Does he have the little Fall Guys chief on his back? I think he does. Nice. His throne is very golden. Usually it's not that golden, right? What is the matter? They shot Can't start your Johnson looked like Skibbity Toilet? No, he did not. What? <laughs> what just because of the low graphics head? Because of the PS2 head? Is that why you think he's Skibbity Toilet? Here comes Lord Hood to save the day. Master Chief, no more Skibbity Toilet references. Miranda Keys is gonna have a pistol and then die. Oh, she has a shotgun. Why did I think she had the pistol? Don't worry, I've got a. It must be a different cutscene. Oh yeah, there's a pistol. Okay, I was right. We don't have a few more days. Is that in the original game? I don't think it is, right? To war? Does her shirt say Hot Topic? <laughs> her shirt says Hot Topic. Why does it say Hot Topic in a vertical font? No, Miranda. Your forefathers wisely set aside their compassion, steeled themselves for what needed to be done. I see. Don't do it, Prophet. Man, where's Arbiter and Chief when you need them? They're like taking their good time. Purchase, what's that say? Uh, purchase the journey, I guess. Can you discover this long lost Easter egg that nobody found? It has to do with the order of the number of the order of the rings, hint, hint. 
There's Master Man. Hurry up, Master Man. Dude, the Forerunner should have made a much faster elevator. They should have known. I like how Master Chief jumps up before the elevator is done. Do choose, That's a good touch. Let me lead you safely to our foe. Only you can halt what he has set in motion. The Forerunner should have made Master Chief. Yeah, they were too busy making Halo rings. If they would have just made one Master Chief, they wouldn't have had this problem. Master Chief could have just killed a fluid for him. Do you have guns? That is the brute thing. That gun sucks. Alright, Arbiter. It's time for us to cross the gamer bridge together. Be careful. It's always a hazardous trek. Uh, those brute shot, not brute shot, those fuel rod grunts over there. Watch out for those guys. My Master Chief did not go with Miranda and the Pelican is beyond me because he had to, uh, he had to activate the gate. He had to hit A on a console or something. I don't really know what Miranda accomplishes by crashing her Pelican into the window. She just kind of gets killed. Oh well. She wanted to go to war. That's what you get. Arbiter, move out of the way. That robot's trying to burn up your Dorito bag. What are you? Gold silent sniper? What the heck? I'll take it. Hit bashed halo guns are always very strange because it's very easy to tell what parts of what you're seeing. How could I have known Every weapon part is so distinct. This is, the doing. is it literally a sniper round or is it an SMG round? I think it's a battle rifle round. It is kind of strong. Oh no, it crashed. Oh man, so close. I guess there was too much on the screen. Well, that was the Lord Hood's weird Halo mod. It certainly was weird. It's pretty good. It sets out to be a weird, insane fever dream mod, and it succeeds. So until next time, like, favorite, subscribe to YouTube Shorts.